U.S. China finalize phase one of trade deal The U.S. and China have finalized phase one of the trade deal, agreeing to roll back tariffs set for December 15. Both nations had imposed tariffs on billions of dollars worth of each other's goods in a tit-for-tat trade war. China agreed to massive purchases of agricultural product, energy, and manufactured goods. Plus much more, U.S. President Donald Trump said. U.S. man whose car fell in river rescued after he tells Siri to call 911 a man in Iowa. U.S. was rescued when he asked Apple's virtual assistant Siri to call 911 for help as he couldn't find his phone after his car fell into the Winnebago River. The incident took place when 18-year-old Gail Salcedo was driving to college. He was treated for shock and released from the hospital hours later. A record 15 Indian origin candidates elected as MPs in UK general election A record number of 15. Indian origin candidates have been elected as MPs in the general election held in the UK on Thursday. Out of the 15 candidates, 12 of them retained their seats, including Suella Braverman and Rishi Sunak. The son-in-law of Infosys co-founder Narayana Murthy, Conservative parties Gagan Mohindra and Claire Coutinho have been elected for the first time. PM Modi congratulates UK PM Johnson on general election win Prime Minister Narendra Modi took to Twitter to congratulate UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson after his Conservative Party won the general election. Many congratulations to PM Boris Johnson for his return with a thumping majority. I wish him the best and look forward to working together for closer India-UK ties, Prime Minister Modi wrote. Japan PM defers India visit amid protests over citizenship. Amendment. Act Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Ravish Kumar said India and Japan have decided to defer the visit of Japanese PM Shinzo Abe to a mutually convenient date in the near future. Abe and PM Narendra Modi were scheduled to hold a summit in Guwahati later this month. This comes amid protests in the northeast over the Citizenship Amendment Act 2019.